What if you could approach meditation practice with more ease and less struggle? What if you could tap into the intellectual joy of understanding the science behind it? And what if you could use that joy and clarity to work smarter in your practice? You discover that nature is constantly providing windows to transcendence. And you get even more mileage out of your practice and its application to your everyday life. The concept of enlightenment would be within your grasp. It's often said that the things experienced by advanced meditators cannot be put into words, but I disagree. And I've dedicated the last 40 years of my life to the endeavor of creating a precise and accessible language for describing what happens as the result of deep meditation practice. By working smarter and knowing how to spot nature's windows of opportunity, more people will have the tools to benefit from meditation and more people will flourish in their existing practice. Imagine how that could change our world. In my senior year of college, I studied abroad in Japan. During that year, I was befriended by some Zen monks. I sensed that they had a kind of secret sauce, a way to be deeply happy, independent of conditions. Eventually, I decided to discover for myself what they were talking about. I knew I would meditate my whole life and probably eventually get good at it. But I was also impressed by the power of modern science and technology. So I decided to train myself in physics and mathematics as well. I currently divide my time between teaching meditation and designing research related to it. I derive great joy from discovering parallels between mathematical structures and meditative experiences. And I like to think of myself as being on a mission to take the mist out of mysticism. Many people are quite pessimistic regarding the future. Degradation of the environment, senseless violence, economic chaos, and political extremism all seem to bode ill for humanity in this century. Of course, it's impossible to predict the future, but there's a very real possibility that the marriage of the best of the East and the West could pull the bacon out of the fire and lead to a dramatic improvement of the human condition. This reasonable and reassuring thought fuels my days. What if informing meditation with the spirit of science ends up creating the zeitgeist for the next century? I wrote The Science of Enlightenment to bring that dialogue to a broader audience. And I invite you to join me and take your meditation practice further than you may have thought possible.